what's up, Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New TW. Spring is in full swing. People are bed fishing all over the country. The turkeys are gobbling. Hopefully you're out there chasing some of those this season. Um, you know, get out there on the lake. We got a bunch of stuff for you today. So we got everything from soft plastics, little tiny minnows for drop shots, deep diving cranks, new tackle bags. So let's jump right into it. So we got a whole new company in. Uh, this is Nomad Design. So this is a company out of Australia and we got a whole slew of new baits from them. So we got everything from a, you know, deep dive and crank baits. We got top waters. We got a few other baits that we didn't even bring out to show you guys. Just wanted to give you a, kind of a sampling of what they have. So this first one here is their new D-Track deep, deep Dive and Crank Bait. So Nomad is really known as a saltwater company. Like I said, they're based out of Australia and they make some really, really sweet saltwater gear um, that, that you know, was able to hold up to tons of fish and catch some really large tunas, wahoo, you know, marlin, all kinds of cool stuff. And they've incorporated some of that technology now into their new bass line, which is super exciting. So this D-Track deep diving crankbait, it comes in two sizes. This is the deepest of the two size, uh, two sizes. And this is an awesome deep diver. If you're looking for a new deep diver, you know that lead season is gonna be right around the corner. Definitely gonna wanna check one of these out and throw it in the box. So it does have a weight transfer system on the inside. So they slide back and forth. You can hear those things going back and forth. They make a lot of noise. You're gonna get great casting distance, which is what you need with these deep diving plugs. You gotta throw them a mile so you can get them at max running depth. Uh, the awesome thing that's on pretty much all of their baits is their, their patented auto-tune system. So right here on the bill, they have this auto-tune uh, this auto -tune line tie system, so you never have to tune the bait. So it's gonna run straight every single time, and that also helps the bait get down quicker, and it's gonna give this bait a lot wider action. So you can fish it at any speeds, especially even at slow speeds, it's still gonna have a crazy wide wobbling action, and uh, and be able to deflect off cover and you know come back to the center but again you know get that that great action that you can run it you can crank this thing also at, as fast as you want and you're not going to have to worry about uh about the, the the bait rolling and turning and blowing out like some of the crankbaits out on the mark or out on the market so no matter what speed you want to run it you can do that down on the bottom they got bkk treble hooks on them just a sweet crankbait this one here is the bigger of the two sizes and you can actually get this thing down to about 24, 25 feet. Uh, the smaller one, I think it runs about 15 to 18. Sweet new crankbait there from, uh, from Nomad Design. Another one they got is a new Topwater. This is actually a smaller version of a bait that they make for the saltwater market. So, uh, you know, they make the, you know, big, I believe like 200 or 250 size crank uh, Topwaters that are made for, you know, fishing tuna boils and stuff like that. So they've just downsized that, but kept all that technology into a small size for fresh water. Um, this dart wing is really cool. It's got this bulbous tail on it, so you can cast it like a bullet. Um, this one's gonna be for your more fast action, more erratic top water, and for like chasing schooling fish and stuff like that. So you can walk it, and as you can see, where it gets its name, the dart wing, it's got this winged head design on it. So when you twitch it, that wing will catch water and it actually glides side to side really well. Um, it does have a small cut mouth on it, so you can work it really fast and it's gonna spit and spray just like the old school pencil popper, but gonna be the one that you want for cover and bank really fast and then chasing the schoolers. Another top water they got here, my favorite, I think it's the office favorite as well, um, is the new Chug Norris. So the, uh, the Chug Norris is also another bait that, uh, that's a smaller cousin of, of the saltwater version. I believe I have one that's like a 10 or 12 inch bait for, for chasing tuna around. Um, this is going to be that small three and a half inch size. I believe it's three eighths of an ounce. Um, so the Chug Norris is technically a popper, but it does multiple actions in one. Thanks to that, you know, that auto tune in there, it does a little bit more than just a standard popper. So it does have that big mouth on there, so you can pop it. It's going to spray and spit and you know and chug and get a lot of uh, a lot of disruption on the surface like you will with a popper. But with that auto tune in there. Uh, you can actually walk this bait. So it is a popper, but you can walk it and you get just this nice subtle action. So if you need a popper that you want to pop it, you want to walk it just a little bit, real subtle top water, uh, the Chug Norse is going to be the one you want to check out. And the last one here is their new Swim Treks. So this is a really exciting lipless crankbait. Um, uh, it does a few things that not other lipless cranks on the market do as well. So again, with that auto tune system, it gives you a really strong vibration when you reel this thing, uh, if you do a straight wind. But one of the most exciting things that it does 
is when you yo-yo this bait. So it's got a strong vibration, and then because of that auto-tune in there, it doesn't have you know a, a really fixed point of contact. This bait actually swims and actually swims on the way down and it'll change direction each time you snap it up off the bottom. So you might snap it, it'll swim to the left, you can snap it to go to the right, it'll turn around. It does all kinds of crazy stuff when you snap it and you let it uh, sink to the bottom on a slack line. I believe all these baits, we do have a full product video of the Nomad guys explaining you know, all the key details of these baits. Um, the different types of retrieves you can do with them, the different types of actions they produce. So a bunch of cool information. You want to check out all the product videos. These are all, all, all the baits are also made out of a very high density ABS plastic, stronger than most of the other uh, production lures out there on the market. I mean, they came from the saltwater world, so they build their baits super strong, uh, you know, with heavy duty componentry that's going to hold up to more aggressive fish. Everything's got BKK trebles on them, just premium baits. Super awesome that we got them in. Check out all the new Nomad Bass stuff. All right, another new line of hard baits that we got from PH Custom Lures uh, from Phil Hunt. So Phil Hunt is legendary with all the, the different balsa crankbaits that he makes out there on the market. Um, and he kind of extended a few of his most popular crankbaits. So this first one is the Hunt and P, which is uh, one of his better selling uh, square bill crankbaits on the market. Just that old school balsa style square bill. You know, there's really high buoyancy, so they deflect off cover really well. Circuit board lifts. And like the name implies, the Hunt and Pete, it hunts and has really great action that you can only get with really those handmade balsa crankbaits. But what Phil did is we now have a, a few rattling models. So even though it is a balsa crankbait, it does have kind of a subtle ticker in there. So if you're a big fan of balsa crankbaits, now you got a rattling option, so you can kind of have best of both worlds. I mean, most of the balsa crankbaits out there don't have a rattle in them, so now you got one with a rattle with the, the, the hunting P. Another one of his more popular crankbaits is the, is the P series, and this crankbait is actually, uh, is actually built after the Zoom WEC crankbait. So that was a super popular crankbait that was made way back in the day, and a lot of people wanted someone to replicate that bait, and Phil did it. We got it in a bunch of awesome colors, but now you can get this WEC style crankbait. It's called the P-Series. You can get it in a rattling and a non-rattling. The last one is this new, uh, is the Gulp flat side. So especially right now, if you're still maybe somewhere farther north in the country and you're, uh, the flat side bite is really good, you're still dealing with a lot of cold water, that's when the flat sides seem to shine the most. Now you can have a flat side crankbait with a rattle or you can get, uh, or you can get one without a rattle. But I mean, most of the flat side crankbaits out there on the market don't have a rattle in them, but you're gonna get that nice, super tight wiggle, um, really tight shimmy, which is deadly in cold water. Or if you're at certain lengths where the fish are just getting beat up and there's a ton of pressure, flat side in the Gulp series is what you wanna go with. All right, moving on to jigs. We got a couple sweet new jigs I'm actually pretty pumped about. The first one here is from Outcast Tackle. This is their V2 Finesse Ball Head Jig. One of the coolest ball head jigs I've seen out in a long, long time. So just traditional ball head style jig. Um, you know, a ball head jig is gonna give you that great all around performance. You can do just about anything with it, minus, you know, like punching it through grass mats and stuff like that. Uh, if, you, if you're at a lake where you just wanna go down the bank and, you know, flip some brush, throw on rocks, a dock, lay down, all kinds of stuff like that. Ball head jig is great for all of that. Um, with this ball head jig, what's cool about it is that new, uh, that double weed guard that they put on there. I'm a huge fan of the split double weed guard on jigs, especially like your big flipping jigs. It seems to make a ton of difference being able to get in and out of cover and not get hung up so much. This ball head jig too, it's got a double banded skirt and they're using a finesse uh, frog, uh, frog hair cut silicone. So really, really thin skirting material. It just gets a lot more action and breathes a lot better in the water than you would with the traditional silicone that sometimes could stick together in certain conditions. Uh, they left the skirt long, so you can trim it up however you want. You can trim up the top, make it a spider cut, you know, trim up the bottom, make it real compact, do whatever you want to. But with the long cut, kind of gives you the freedom to do whatever you want with it. And you're not pigeonholing yourself into just one style of skirt. The next skirt or the next jig we got here is actually from Beast Coast. This is the Beast Coast Working Man's Compact Swim Jig. Another one, super stoked about, really small, compact swim jig. It seems like, especially this time of the year, everyone's out fishing and you always have to downsize your tackle a little bit. 
Um, this working man's compact swim jig is really made for those like two to four inch swim baits, you know, small grubs, small swim baits. As you can see, it's got a small hook on there. It's not gonna be made for your five, six inch big soft plastics, you know, really compact package. Uh, it's got that triangular kind of arrowhead shaped head design on there. So it's gonna pierce through cover really well. It's got that semi recessed vertical line tie. So it slips through the cover and the grass really, really well. Another thing I really like about the Beast Coast jigs is their skirts on here as well. So they use a combination of silicone and they put a little bit of that like Mylar flash boost stuff in there. And they also uh, hand time and band them. So underneath the banding on there, don't be fooled. It's not just a, a regular old banded skirt. They're actually hand tied underneath and then banded as well. So just double reinforced skirt. So it's not gonna fall off. It's gonna stay on there. Uh, and you're not gonna worry about, you know, catching tons of fish and leaving this thing in the box for a while and the band's rotting off and the skirt's falling off. Those things are gonna stay on there. All right, moving on to some soft plastics. We got a bunch of stuff from Savage Gear. The first one here is their new DS Minnow. So this is a really cool soft plastic minnow that they made for drop shotting. Um, specifically this color I like a lot. The Prism Shad color has that nice subtle blue top, a little bit of uh, flake in that clear belly on there. So they it kind of has a wide body and then it tapers down to that tail, but it does have kind of like a spade tail on the very bottom. So it doesn't take any type of movement. You can sit this thing still on a drop shot and that tail is so thin down, once you get down to the very bottom, that tail is gonna move and quiver in the water with little to no movement from your rod tip at all. Perfect for nose hooking. Um, it's actually a neutrally buoyant plastic, so they added just the right amount of salt in there to get that thing to just sit perfectly horizontal when it's in the water. What you want is what you want on a drop shot, and especially for those super, super tough conditions, you can just leave it there and it's gonna work for you. The next few we got are a couple extensions of their dragon tail worms. So we got the dragon tail Ned worm, tiny little worm, just something a little bit different than all the other stick baits out there. You can see all of the ribbing that's down there on the bait. So that's gonna move and just produce a lot of vibration. And then since the middle of it is so thin, this thing's gonna get a ton of quivering action. It's gonna get, it's gonna move a little bit more naturally in the water than some of just the straight stick baits. And it's made of their dirt tough material. So, uh, I mean, that stuff, it's almost indestructible. So you can leave it on there. You can probably catch 20, 50 fish on one bait and not have to worry about it. And then they also got their dragon tail slug. So this is a pretty interesting bait since it's, it's, all, it's pretty much the same design, but up in a five inch model. Uh, Savage Gears used to carry these in, uh, I believe a six and eight inch models. Now with that five inch model, you can do a ton of different stuff with it. It's actually a really sweet uh, vibrating jig trailer since it does have that tail on the back. So you put that on a vibrating jig, it goes crazy. Um, you can also fish it like how you would with just a, a soft plastic stick bait. Uh, you can put, uh, it's got a belly slot on there so you can actually put a weighted, a weighted screw lock hook on there and you can swim it. And just cause the nature of this plastic and the ribbing on there, this thing swims through the water so you can reel it like a swim bait. You can twitch it like you would with like a soft, uh, like a soft plastic fluke bait. Uh, just a ton of different stuff you can do with it. Great one to add, add to your arsenal and give you some versatility there. Last soft plastic we got here from Mullix. This is a sweet new craw bait. This is the Mullix Freaky Craw. Um, really compact design, um, but it does have these nice pinchers on there. They're gonna kick and produce a lot of action, but it is a super compact bait. So I think it's gonna be really good for like flipping and even a punch bait because it's gonna, it's really narrow. It doesn't have a lot of stuff hanging off the side. It's gonna be able to slip through cover really, really well. And then you're gonna get a lot of action on that tail end, but it's not big and bulky. I mean, you can put this thing on a jig. It's gonna be a great jig trailer. You can even cut this thing down. It's gonna be an awesome little finesse jig trailer because the body is nice and compact. It's loaded with scent, as you can probably see here on the table. Another sweet little bait there from Mullix. All right, talk about some line. So we got a new line, new fluorocarbon from Soft Steel. This is a new Tataki fluorocarbon. So this line is made in Japan. It's made out of like the, high, the, you know, the highest quality materials that Soft Steel can get over there. This line's gonna give you great abrasion resistance and not strength, but soft steel is always known for having those like softer, you know, more limp lines. So it is gonna be a little bit more casting friendly than some of the other fluorocarbons out there on the market. So if you're looking for a fluorocarbon that's gonna give you, you know, that low stretch, you know, abrasion resistance and tough, 
but it's gonna be a little bit softer, more limp of a line. Soft steel is gonna be the one you wanna check out. I'm curious to try it out. We're gonna try it out uh, on some saltwater fish. Cod season just opened up. I wanna see how it's gonna hold up out there. All right, we're done with line. Let's talk about some rods and reels. So the next one we got here is from St. Croix. This is the new Legend Tournament Series. So the Legend Tournament Series has been around for a long time. They've updated it, made it even better than before. So I believe there's 24 or 27 different models all geared for bass fishing. There's a ton of different spinning rods, a ton of casting rods, everything from, you know, really light finesse rods, you know, cranking rods, flipping sticks, all the way up to, I believe they got a big swim bait rod in the line as well. Um, they've updated the blank, so they're using the SIC4 Plus material, and then they're using advanced reinforced technology on there. So what that's gonna do, it's gonna lighten the rod up, be a little bit lighter than the previous generations, and they're gonna be a little bit stronger as well and they're getting more consistent bends through the blanks with less kind of flat spots that you would get from layering different layers of carbon. Um, down here on the grips, they've put in these, uh, these little bit slimmer cork handles on there and then they have a composite kind of cork material back here behind the reel seat and it's super, super comfortable. There's a Fuji reel seat, there's Fuji guides up here um, on the grips themselves as well. So not all of them are gonna have the exact same split grip. Some of the different models are a full grip. Uh, some of them are, you know, a bunch of different lengths, but there's full grips and split grips through the lineup. Make sure you click the links on our website and see you can see what grip you're gonna get uh, on each select models of rods. Um, these are also backed by St. Croix's 15 year transferable warranty. So an awesome warranty service, to, uh, you know, St. Croix takes care of their customers. These are 100% made in the USA rods. Um, they're super high quality. Like I said, they got every, you know, 24, 27 different models. So they got every technique that you could ever want for bass fishing. Super awesome series from St. Croix. All right, next up from Luz, we got Luz's new flagship spinning reel. So, you know, you want a new St. Croix rod, you can pair it up with one of these new Luz reels. Um, this is the new Magnesium, magnesium Hyper Mag reel. Um, you know, Luz put a lot of work into this reel. Um, they the pro staff, you know, wanted a, you know, a high end spinning reel for a lot of the techniques that they're doing out there. These actually match up with those team loose signature rods as well. So if you want the silver on silver look, uh, you want to go with those ones as well. So it's got a magnesium frame, magnesium body. So super light, really robust. Um, they got a proprietary gear in there and they got an 11 bearing system on the inside. So it's incredibly smooth. I mean, I've, I've felt all the loose reel, uh, spinning reels as they've come in for the years, and this is for sure the best one that Luz has ever made. Um, it's a lot smoother than previous, gener previous generations of loose reels. They've actually got a, uh, a carbon multi-disc drag system in here as well, and they've put on an aluminum bale and an aluminum rotor on here. So it really reduces that weight, and it just cranks like butter. Out here on the outside, my favorite feature, they put that win dry tack knob on the outside. It's super tacky. Um, it's a kind of a larger knob, so you can actually crank on this thing a lot and have, you know, have a lot of torque and bring in a lot of line. It's super comfortable to fish all day. You're gonna be able to get, uh, get on there in any conditions. If it's wet, if it's hot and sweaty, no matter what, it's gonna have a nice tacky finish to it. All right, last up. So we talked about all the baits and the tackle. Where are we gonna put this stuff? We got the new Evolution Largemouth Tackle Bag or Backpack. Um, this is a sweet backpack. I really like the setup of it. If you're looking for a new backpack, doing a lot of shore angling, or if you're a co-angler, this keeps everything nice and tight and organized, and it doesn't take up a whole ton of space. It is a kind of a large backpack, but it, it's it's very well thought out and has a lot of a lot of options for storage on here. So the top part, it's kind of a double stacker system. So on the top, you got one large open compartment, so you can load this down with with tackle trays if you want, you can put bags of plastics, whatever you want, kind of gives you the freedom to throw every, anything you want in there. Uh, I know our buyer Brian will throw his hoagie in there. Let's see, on the bottom here, what I like the most is it's got this front loader option. So you, you unzip this and it comes with three tackle trays in there. And you can actually stack a lot more in there if you want to as well. You could stack four, five, or six. The bottom tray of the, of the top compartment or the, the bottom separator, I should say, um, it actually moves up and down. So you can actually put you know a whole bunch of trays in there and stack it a lot higher if you wanna keep everything organized in trays. But they give you three to start with, and then you can kind of go from there and organize it how you want to. On the outside, you know, a bunch of different storage compartments uh, or additional storage compartments, you know, small areas for putting your sunglasses, putting your, ply they got a pliers spot on the outside. On both of the top pockets, they do have the line port. So if you wanna put 
like your spool of leader line in there, you can feed it right through there and, uh, and always have your leader material kind of ready to go and you're not having to actually dig in and out and take the spool out. Kind of feed it out as you go. On the back side, or the front side, I should say, um, they have really nice padded straps and padded back system, really thick pads on the back here. So if you want to load this thing down with a ton of weight, it's going to be pretty comfortable. And then they got the sternum strap and, you know, the padded shoulder straps. Like I said, you can uh, use this for, for pond hopping, you know, hiking into kind of your favorite little secret lakes. You could, you know, co-angler, whatever you want. Uh, it's going to be a super comfortable bag to wear. And, you know, it's got a really cool design on the outside. Sweet new backpack if you're looking for, uh, looking for a new tackle bag to set up all your gear in. That's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks for watching What's New Tackle Warehouse. As always, for more information or to purchase any of these products seen here today, click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.